Let's begin. Can you introduce yourself and our organization first today? Yeah, okay. I'm Cao Rumo. I work in Taiyuan Yuying High School since 2011, and I got my master's degree in English education in CCNU. Okay, now that we master some basic information about you, here are seven leadership-related questions that are the main content of our interview. Uh, first, what does leadership mean to you, especially in the context of leading and teaching group? Yeah, leadership means the ability to inspire and motivate a group towards a common goal. As a leader of a teaching group, it is essential to create an environment where teachers feel empowered, engaged, and challenged. This is achieved by fostering open communication, encouraging collective decision making, and aligning individual goals with the overall mission of the team. Okay, so as a leader of teaching group, you often take the initiative to create a support situation when something needs to be solved. And can you explain your leadership style with your group? Uh, I think I am, uh, I'm an affiliative leader. I tend to create a positive work environment that supports the growth and development of their team members, leading to improved performance and engagement. I facilitate open discussions and seek input from everyone to arrive at the best possible solutions. I also strive to create an environment where teachers feel safe to experiment and take risks. And as you mentioned, you facilitate open discussion in the group. Do you have any other way to ensure effective communication with the team? Uh, yeah, to ensure effective communication within the team, I establish clear channels of communication and encourage open dialogue. I regularly hold meetings to share updates on projects, address any concerns, and brainstorm ideas. I also make myself available outside of scheduled meetings for impromptu discussions or dropping help as needed. Additionally, I utilize technology to its full potential, such as using online platforms for project management and the document sharing. Okay, got it. Meanwhile, can you share the uh, specific skills you believe are crucial for leading your teaching group if effectively? Yeah, first, um, I think the most important skill is listening and empathy. Understanding the needs and perspectives of individual team members is essential for effective leadership. Active listening, empathy, and asking thoughtful questions can foster better understanding and stronger relationships with, uh, within the team. And second, decision making. The ability to make sound decisions promptly and with clarity is crucial. I strive to base my decisions on facts, data, and input from, uh, from team members while considering long-term consequences. And the third one is delegation. Effective leaders know how to delegate tasks and responsibilities to others. This allows for more efficient use of resources, encourage accountability, and empowers team members to grow professionally. Uh, and the fourth one is conflict resolution. Handling conflicts uh, constructively is an essential skill for any leader. I strive to resolve conflicts by fostering open communication, encouraging direct communication, and seeking common ground. And the last one, I think, is uh, feedback and coaching. Giving meaningful feedback and providing opportunities for pro professional development are integral parts of effective leadership. I regularly provide feedback on performance, identify areas for improvement, and help team members set achievable goals for themselves. Okay, based on the skills you mentioned above, could you provide examples of how you apply these skills in managing people, resources, and in problem solving with the teaching context? Yeah, when receiving a task, I will first break it down into smaller tasks and then allocate tasks based on the difficulty and abilities of everyone. For example, young people are energetic and they have more free time. So they generally take on some, um, some execution work. Older and more experienced teachers will control the overall goal and progress and they take 
uh, take on more written work. Of course, this is not absolute, and there is room for adjustment. Uh, I will also actively participate in the task. If someone encounters difficulties, I will also actively participate in the task. Uh, I will offer advice and even help help his uh, him or her complete the task. If some resources are needed to complete the task, I will definitely go first to find these resources. Yeah, it sounds like a good way to delegate tasks based on each person's ability. So can you share your balance of administrative, interpersonal, and conceptual skills in your role? Um, in my role as a leader, I strive to balance administrative uh, interpersonal and conceptual skills effectively. Administration skills are essential for managing day-to-day -day operations, and setting clear expectations and ensuring accountability within the team. Uh, interpersonal skills help me build strong relationships with teachers, foster open communication, and resolve conflicts effectively. And conceptual skills allow me to think uh, uh, to think strategically envision future possibilities and align individual goals with the larger mission of the team. To achieve this balance, I continuously reflect on my leadership style, seek feedback from others, and strive to improve uh, in all three areas. Hello, everyone. I will introduce the meaning of being a leader based on the results of this interview. For a team, a leader can set a clear goal and a vision for the team or organization and provide the direction for everyone to move forward. For individuals, leaders need to be accountable for their own actions and decisions, and their actions have a profound impact on the entire team. So they need to lead by example, that's all. Miss Sao is a sponsory leader who tries to create a positive work environment and support the growth and development of team members to improve performance and engagement. To effectively lead a team, she used skills such as making sound decisions quickly and clearly, delegating tasks and responsibility to others, and providing regular performance feedback. From leaders, I learned how to manage time and use my spare time in life to improve my ability. We need to put ourselves in someone else's shoes and truly understand the people and things around us. Moreover, you must pay attention to your execution ability. Execution ability is an opportunity to show your ability. The last part is about how to apply new knowledge to improve my leadership skills. Firstly, communication skills. Leadership and uh, effect communication are inspirable. I have learned some skills on how to express ideas clearly, as well as how to listen and understand others. Secondly, how to motivate the team. Leadership involves stimulate the establish and the motivation of team members. I learned advice on how to set goals, provide motivation, and uh, identify and uh, level age the strengths of team members. The last is team building. Understanding how to build a strong team is a key skill for leaders. We need to understand the inter interrelationships among team members, effective and uh, conflicts and find ways to prune team collaborations.